Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. We got some NBA. We got our first like full slate of NBA going on. Uh, one and one on the opening night. We got the under in the Denver game. We did not get the Warriors. Although the Warriors had a quarter that they won by 21 points, still couldn't convert the game. Just, just ugly. Um, but there's a full slate of 12 games tomorrow. We'll go over four of them. Um, three of these will be on the site along with, uh, along with two, uh, four other plays that are already loaded up. They're already up there. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, you guys go ahead and head over to picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's where you can find all of the plays. Lots of stuff coming out for the NBA tomorrow. Super excited. And make sure you guys are following Earl Sports Bets on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's jump into this. Let's start off with the Celtics and the Knicks. The Celtics are three-point favorites with a total of 225 and a half. I will say this is the one play that's not on the site. Um, this one was close, but I didn't want to put everything up. Um, but I'm going to be on the Celtics in this game. I, I look at this one. The Knicks are going to be good this year. Celtics are going to be – I feel like the Celtics are the best team in the East. Yes, I know Dane's on Milwaukee, all that good stuff. I still think the Celtics are the best team in the Eastern Conference until kind of proven otherwise. The Heat will be good, but I, I'm a believer in the Celtics this year. I'm going to take them to start off the year with a win. I think a minus three in New York. This is a this is a game I really like. Cleveland and the and Brooklyn. Cleveland's a one point favor on the road with a total of two twenty. And this line dropped. Like it, it, Cleveland was like a three point favorite. Now they're down to a one. I think it's that way for a reason. I'm just grabbing the Nets. Yes, I know I probably missed the line movement. It is what it is. This kind of just pushes me way towards the Nets in this one. Um, kind of a weird line in this one because everybody's, hey, Cleveland's going to be a, one of the top competitors in the East, and Brooklyn may be a wild card and maybe a playing team or a six seed at their peak for the Eastern Conference this year. Um, so you look at it and think, oh, well, Cleveland should be a bigger favorite. No, no, let's grab Brooklyn in this one. We'll head over to Toronto and uh, Minnesota. Minnesota's a one-point favorite, total of 225.5. And, and kind of to start the year, I'm going to play the teams that I think are going to be good. Like, I'm going to play the teams that I have, like, futures on, just kind of to, until we feel it out to see what these teams are really about. I like, I like Minnesota. Uh, I think they're going to be a sneaky team in the West. I think they could possibly get a five or a six seed in the West. Um, they, I know they, they bombed out. They got swept by the Nuggets in the playoffs last year. But this is a Minnesota team. You get Anthony Edwards another year older and more experience. I think he's going to be solid. I think this T-Wolves team in general is going to be really good. So we'll grab them minus the 110 in this one. Final game of the day is the Mavericks and the Spurs. The Mavericks are a three-and-a-half-point favorite with a total of 230. And um, – I know everybody's going to be super, super hyped up about Victor Wimanyana, and um, I'm not going to buy the hype right off the rip. I'm going to fade him right off the rip. I'm going to take the Mavericks in this one minus the three and a half. Um, I just, I just don't. I, I, I'm not going to be high on the Spurs team. I just, just because they have Wimanyana does not mean they should be this, this close to, a, or this small of a dog. I think they should be a lot bigger of a dog. I'm taking the Mavericks minus three and a half on the road to start off the season. Um, so that's where we'll go in this one. Those uh, those are four free picks. I will say the last three are on the site. We have uh, one, two, three, four other plays that are on the site. So if you're interested in that, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim, $70 week pass. All my NBA plays go up the night before. Um, we beat line movements, and those help us win games. So if you guys are interested in that, check that out. And make sure you guys are following Earl Sports Bets on all social medias. Recap time, we'll be grabbing the Celtics minus the three. We'll grab the Nets on the money line. We'll grab the T-Wolves on the money line. And we'll finish out with the Mavericks, minus three and a half. It's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck.